Everybody trying to rap the same style with the, uh, I don't know who created it, if it was Future or Amigos, but all them niggas sound the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, nigga had me in the studio one night trying to do that shit. I'm like, man, cut this shit off. What the fuck am I in here doing, nigga? I don't rap like that. He said, what the fuck you got me doing? This shit is addictive. This shit will get you. You hear that shit? Yeah, so it's always going to be something new. When, when a person decides to be themselves, they offer something no one else can be. Yeah, because once you be you, who, who can be you but you? Right. Mm. And nobody could do my style. Now, the ones who creating it going to live forever, but the ones who duplicate going to fall off. And there's a lot of duplicating going on. I hear the same sound mm. a lot. You know it, what I'm saying? Even the mm. same beat style. A lot. <laughs> and it used to be a time where back in the days you couldn't do that. That was called biting. Mm. If if I took your shit and, and put it on my shit, that's biting. There was no two rappers who rapped the same in the 80s. Mm. There was no two. It was the only two rappers that were similar was Dana Dane and Slick Rick. They were similar, but they wasn't the same. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, a, I'm a rap historian. In the 90s, there was no two rappers that rap. Now, y'all will be wondering how the popular American rappers 50 Cent and Snoop Dogg got to know about Whiskey saying rap is dead. You all know that Snoop Dogg is a legend in the United States of America when it comes to rap. They put the rap game on the map and also the same thing with 50 Cent. These guys are big guys when it comes to rap. But risk it saying rap is dead. These guys also, Snoop Dogg and 50 Cent, have said the same thing before that rap is quite boring. Now, the fact that these guys recycle the same beats, well, they never even heard about the Nigerian rap. They, they were talking about rap in the United States of America. Whiskey a few days ago said that rap is dead, but literally, he never meant Nigerian rappers are, you know, whack. But he was talking about rap in the United States of America and how rappers, you know, um, paved way for Afrobeat. The fact that rap is you know, getting boring and people are getting tired of rap has paved way for new genres of music like Afrobeat, which has made Nigerian rappers to take it up and you know they've been attacking whiskey. Uh, some even dropping a diss for whiskey. Well now let's get into it. I would like to say very big welcome to you guys. You guys are welcome to the channel. This is of this night and I remain the Olamide. As usual, if you like this content, smash the like button down below. Pass your comments in the comment box. Now we all know that for this now the Nigerian social media space has been buzzing about whiskey saying that rap is dead. This has got people wondering, but literally in the context of the interview on 10 magazine, whiskey never meant Nigerian rap. In fact, never specified. You only said that it doesn't listen to rap no more, that rap is dead, which is literally the truth. Uh, let's throw it back to uh, in, uh, an interview by Snoop Dogg, uh, 50 Cent, and other rappers well snoop dogg actually made it clear that these guys the new rappers in the united states of america and making rap get boring these guys sound similar most likely the same these guys sound the same they you know sing the same style they rap the same style they use the same beat so it is hard to differentiate between these guys and once you begin to listen to something you know uh, that is the same but once you begin to listen to the same thing very very often you will begin to lose interest you will begin to you know uh, it will begin to get boring to you which will make you quite lose interest well let's listen to what um 50 cent has to say 50 cent said the same thing snoop dogg has said and that rap in america is getting boring day by day he used an example of the likes of the migos Migos, Future, Young Thug, uh, Big Sean, like these guys rap the same style, they you know use the same beat, so it get boring to people definitely, that, and that's for sure. Whiskey never lied actually, but most people never read it in context. Yeah, they never paid attention to the context of what Whiskey was saying. Literally, Whiskey was not referring to Nigerian rappers. Whiskey Boris was referring to rap as a genre 
in totality. Meanwhile, Nigerian rappers took it up. I guess they just wanted the shine. And instead of them to go to the studio to record some rap and also Biscuit gave them an avenue literally to put rap on the map again. But you know, they wasted it. Instead they became Twitter warriors, they keep became keypad you know gods and they start blasting whiskey which made whiskey to respond back whiskey blasted them in return called them broke boys called them dumb folks and shit well definitely i'll be bringing back content from here uh as things goes on just subscribe to the channel if you love this content and we would love you know to stay updated like this video and pass your comments in the comment box till next time thank you